there she is the Patronus Twin Towers this is way bigger than I expected in person so this used to be the world's biggest towers in up until 2004 but now it is still the world's biggest twin towers though I think it's 375 meters high and it costs like 1.6 billion dollars to build so insane it's a bit of a pity that is not the best day today it's a bit cloudy um, but I'm gonna see if I can go up to the top hopefully we'll see all right so I've had a change of mind and I won't be going up in the twin towers today just because it is such a miserable cloudy day and if you want a certain time to go up you actually have to book that online so the next available time was 2 30 p.m. but I will be coming back to Kuala Lumpur towards the end of August so when I'm back then I reckon I'm gonna book a time to go up around sunset so it'll be the best view at that time um, but in the meantime I'll just keep exploring Kuala Lumpur City has some pretty extravagant shops around here I went to one yesterday and I got to the very very top floor and just looked straight down and the amount of escalators that were it was insane it looked really really cool but you could easily spend a whole day in Kuala Lumpur just checking out all the shopping centers For the ultimate shopping experience, come to this area, book it in Tang because it is just all shops and all restaurants. This spot is very touristy. Well, that's not a bad competition they got there. So that was the Royal Golden Bar Quest and like. I don't know if they're real or not. They had like giant golden bars and you have to try to put your hand through the hole, pick up the golden bar and pull it out. But it's a $300, um, $300 entrance, but you can win up to $50,000 if you manage to get it out. <laughs> I think it's very heavy. As I love enjoying the aircon in the shopping centers, I am not the biggest fan of getting lost throughout the shops. Like, I, I just spent the past 40 minutes just trying to figure out how to get out of that shopping center. I'm horrible in shops. Every time I go in one, I just struggle to get out of it. Right now, I am absolutely starving again, but I'm gonna find a famous food street and get some food there. Okay, so this area is called Jalan Alor Food Court, and it's just one big long street all full of restaurants and places to eat at but I just remembered <laughs> that this is a night food court so majority of these restaurants are closed but I think I'll still be able to find a spot to eat so if you're around here at night definitely check it out and have dinner here. So the next big region to check out is Pudu. So this area is probably not as nice as the other areas I've been to, but they got another big shopping center here called Pudu Plaza. Um, and I think this will be the last spot I'll be going to today. All right, so there isn't too much happening around Pudu, but I'm gonna head back to my hostel now. But I'll show you guys how to get the local trains around here. Um, it's fairly easy it's pretty similar to like all the other big cities but there's just one little different thing about it that I'll show you right now all right so when you come to these machines you just got to figure out which color line you got to get so I got to get the orange one and then you got to figure out the place you're going to so I'll be going to here and it's really cheap fare prices around here so it's just a dollar sixty paying cash 
insert the money. Did it take it? Okay, it turns out I got my coin stuck, so I'll have to try another machine. <laughs> Alright, so the only different thing about this is you'll be getting this little token. So, I've never seen this before, it's the first time I've seen it. You just get this token, and then you just tap the token through, figure out what station you've got to get to, and it's usually pretty easy because they got these signs right here. So, I've got to go here, which means platform one. And then when leaving, instead of tapping the coin out, you just sort of got to slot it in there like a vending machine, and then you're good to go. Well, there you have it. Another big day. Wow. Always happens every time I start a vlog. There you have it. Another big day exploring KL. Um, it was pretty much just a big day of exploring a bunch of shops. But if that's what you're into, then KL is all for you. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be back, as I said before, to Kuala Lumpur in another month's time because they have an independent stay here where they'll be, like throw huge parades and big fireworks show and I've got a really nice accommodation for them. But tomorrow I'm heading off to the Batu Cave, so be sure to watch that video as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Follow your dreams. Escape cover zone. Bye.